Hey guys, so I wanted to kind of steer away from beauty videos for a little bit today and kind of just explore a whole different realm. Um, I've seen a few of these videos go around on YouTube and I think that they're absolutely hilarious. Some of you might take offense. Um, if you are easily offended, just click out now. Just save yourself the time and the frustration and the anger and whatever. And um, hopefully you'll still want to be my friend, but if you're easily offended, just don't watch the video. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to do a video on pet peeves because I think YouTube is a great outlet to do that and to share with other people like, okay, this bothers me. Oh my God, this bothers me too. Like, oh, that bugs you. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm just going to get started. I went ahead and just wrote them down and I have quite a few. Eh, eh. Maybe like 10. Um, like 10 really major pet peeves that just absolutely, they grind my gears. They like drive me insane. And I don't know. Oh, I just, I just thought of one and I need to make sure I put it on the list. I think I did put it on the list. Okay, yes I did. Alright, so I'm just going to start. My first pet peeve is eavesdroppers. I cannot stand people like let's say that you're out in public and you're at like a restaurant sitting at a table with someone or you're sitting in the airport with somebody and you're having a conversation and it's like a semi-private conversation. You're kind of trying to keep it to yourselves but you're in a public place so you don't really have the option other than to just kind of try to keep it private. And then if you look over and there's a person and they just keep looking at you and you can tell that they're intentionally trying to listen to your conversation. Oh my God, like that instantly I'm not one to cop an attitude ever, but that will instantly make me cop an attitude and I will make it known that that person is pissing me off. Usually I will get up and say, you know what, we're being listened to, let's move somewhere else. Ugh, it drives me nuts. So yeah, that's number one. Number two, door peepers. So let's say you're at a public restroom and you know, most public restrooms, like they have a closing door and you can see under them. And usually it's like the really fancy ones where you can't see under them, but for the most part, you can see underneath the door. I cannot stand when somebody, rather than either knocking on the door or trying the handle to see if it's locked, if they can just walk in, they peep under the door, like to see if they can see feet. Do you know what I mean? Why do you do this? I honestly feel like my privacy is so invaded when people do that, but... I feel like literally their head is about to pop all the way under the door and I'm going to have to be like, hi, while I'm like sitting there peeing. It is so annoying. I posted a status about that on Facebook a while ago and people actually like took offense to it. Some people were like, oh my gosh, I feel that way too. And other people were like, oh, well, the only reason that I do that, the only reason I peep under the door is because most people don't lock their doors when they go to the bathroom. Um, I lock my door. So please do me the courtesy of just either knocking or trying the handle and if it's locked, or you knock and I say occupied, then it's occupied. Don't peek under the door, it's creepy. Okay, number three. <laughs> this new social media selfie thing that girls are doing where they take a picture of themselves, totally gorgeous girl, and they feel the need to like, I don't know what this new thing is, like they they like to puff their lips out and make them look pouty. Like lips, like their lips aren't necessarily that big, but they do this thing, like, I can't even do it. Like, I have no idea how these girls do it. They do a really good job at it, but it's so annoying. Why don't you just, like, rock the lips that you have instead of doing this whatever they do? Like I said, I can't do it. I see it all over YouTube and, like, you know, the big YouTubers, a lot of them, and I'm not going to name names, but just, I don't know. There's something that just rubs me the wrong way. I don't like it. It's what else. Um, next is... People who cut you off at red lights when you're driving. Oh my gosh. There's a few things about me. Like, if there's anything that makes me the most irritated, it's driving. It drives me crazy. So let's say that you are driving on the road, and there's three lanes. And let's say that there's a car in each lane, and you're coming up to a red light, okay? And you are, let's say, in the far right lane. And you're about to come up to the red light, and you notice, oh my gosh, I'm going to be first in line once I get to this red light. Perfect. So you're approaching the red light, and then all of a sudden, the person in the middle lane just decides to cut in and cut you off because they want that first place spot. That is so rude 
and it drives me absolutely crazy. It's not like they're going to take off going 60 miles an hour from the red light. They just want that first place spot, and it really, really irks me. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm, okay. People who make Facebook their personal diary. Let me explain. I have been friends with some people on Facebook. I'm friends with a lot of people that I don't even know. A lot of people from high school that have gone to the same school as me. I don't know them. It's just kind of like three mutual friends, whatever. And I've seen so many instances where they like to make Facebook, like they type in statuses like this long about like, I am on such a journey today and life is just a journey and just like these weird sayings that nobody really cares about. But it's like, it's usually them talking about, and I'm not saying don't like, if you've got something that you've accomplished or you're proud of something, I'm not knocking that at all. But like, there's some people that are like, one year ago today, I'm so proud of myself because I accomplished this and I've, I've changed so much in the past year. And then I'll just go on and on. One year ago today, I was just a completely different person. My life was in shambles, blah, 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 blah. And these people usually are the ones that will constantly like post stuff like that. Like I understand posting a status like that very rarely, but there's some people that I feel really, they like make Facebook a personal freaking journal and I just, I don't got time for that and it really bothers me because I, I feel like you shouldn't be sharing like overly personal stuff on Facebook and it's just kind of, meh. Um, next, people who think without knowing me that I'm a bitch. I get that so much. I don't know if it's my face. I guess I just have like resting bitch face. I just like, I don't know, look, do I look mean? Apparently I look mean to people. Um, typically like, I just, I'm kind of, I'm not like a super extrovert and I don't really try extra hard when it comes to meeting new people because I feel like I've been like burned by a lot of people in my life. So I just don't have a lot of interest when it comes to friends that I'm going to see regularly and be, who are going to be part of my actual life regularly like it's kind of hard for me to find people like that so I mean and for me to let people in so automatically people kind of tend to think that I'm like mean or something like that or I don't like them and I've heard it so many times throughout my life like through college and stuff like my friends will tell me that I'll meet someone new at a party or something and they'll be like oh this girl was asking me does Rachel not like me no that's not the case at all quite frankly like if I don't know you, I, I really don't care. Like, I, I'm not judging you. I don't, I, I have no thoughts, really. I just kind of keep to myself. And a lot of time I get tunnel vision. Um, like, if I'm out in public or if I'm out, like, around a lot of people. It's not that I'm antisocial. It's just that I just don't care. So, uh, apparently I just look mean or I sound mean because I'm not, like, trying overly hard to please everybody or to impress people or to make new friends. I feel like new friends will kind of come as they're supposed to. So that's, uh, that's what I got to say about that one. Um, what else? Okay, I think I got two more. Sorry, I was trying to limit my list because some of them are like, eh, everybody's got that pet peeve. Um, okay, this one is like a little one. It is the toilet paper roll. I have a serious, serious problem. I hate it when people put the new, like a new roll of toilet paper and they do it under. It's gonna like roll down if you do it under. You have to do it over the top. <laughs> That's just my opinion. I know some people are like, no, you have to do it under because I don't understand their logic. <laughs> um, but yeah, there is like the ongoing debate, especially well, I guess not really in our house, because once I told Sam that I don't like the toilet paper rolling under, he started rolling it over. Um, but yeah, for... I don't know. I don't get it. I wonder what it is. Like, what in society, what triggers people to either like it rolled over or under? I don't know. I just think that's funny. And then, lastly, my pet peeve is skinny shaming. Now, I know a lot of you are going to be like, oh my god, that's so, like shallow and whatever. Let me explain. I see a lot of things like in society now and social media, like music and stuff like that. And they are, I notice a lot of attempt to empower career girls. And I think that is fantastic. I think that is great. I think what's important is that you empower every single type of woman though. So, um, I, I notice a lot in the, 
like when I see it, like, okay, we're trying to empower curvier girls. It, at the same time, they want to put down thinner girls. Like, they want to make you feel bad if you're thinner or you're on the skinnier side and whatever. Like, for example, that song, I think it's by Megan Trainer. It's all about that bass. Um, she's trying to empower curvier girls, which is awesome. Big thumbs up to that. But I feel like it's a double standard. So I feel like society needs to be empowering all types of women from all types of backgrounds, every single, you know, woman that there is, every single type, everybody is different. So it just really bothers me. I mean, I know for the longest time social media and um, actually just the media in general has pushed it that you need to be stick thin and it's caused a lot of issues. But I think that in the time that we're trying to uplift the curvier girls, we're kind of trying to like bring down thinner girls, and I don't think that's right. I think there needs to be more of a balance. So that is a really big pet peeve of mine when, and I've seen like a one of those bumper stickers that goes around, it's like, real men go for curves, only dogs go for bones, and that, ugh, it just, no, real men, actually, I think I saw a rebuttal sticker, it said, real men go for whatever that they want. And it's true. So I hope you guys see where I'm coming from with that, because, yeah. I don't know. I don't think that society should be taught to lean one way or another. I think that we should all try to love everyone equally. Um, so yeah, that is it, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you were able to see a somewhat different side of me coming out and a little more truth and maybe get to know me a little bit better. Um, and I'm sorry if you were easily offended, if you got offended in this video that you watched. Um, hopefully you still want to be my friend. That'd be great. Anyway, <laughs> I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.